What up, Black and Blue fan? Welcome to the Black and Blue Review, where we break down the good, the bad, and the ugly of police interaction videos to give you a better understanding of what cops do or what they should be doing out there on the streets. My name is Dale, and I'm an actual police officer out here in California with over 25 years experience in the business. I'm joined today, like I am on every Black and Blue Review, by a non-law enforcement member of the community to help us break down today's video. So Black and Blue fam, help us welcome to the re to the review, uh, my guy, Calvin. How's it going, bro? Good, man. How you doing this Sunday? I am excellent. Excellent. Thank you for joining me. You got it. So uh, what you up to today on this on this rainy Sunday? Man, I'm really, it's tough not to just want to get coffee and sit in a window and relax. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> And it's NFL playoff Sunday. We were talking off air, and, and my Niners came through today. So next up is is your Chiefs. So hey, good luck to you. It's gonna be a Thank tough. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, on the road in Buffalo. But uh, hey, I got down there that you are a designer. Tell everybody a little bit about uh, what you do design. Sure. Um, I focus on uh, design generative ecosystems, and what that means is I use. Uh, user experience research to understand how systems uh, work and how they generate um, themselves uh, internally and how they uh, tend to uh, regenerate new ecosystems. Yeah, that, that's that's what's up, man. So, hey, uh, as a designer, hopefully you can help me design a, a good episode today because we, <laughs> we got a good one for, for everybody out here on the review. Today's video comes to us from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, and it's uh, police contact teens selling water bottles. So um, it should be an interesting one. So let's, uh, let's check this one out. Hey, hey, hey. pick that water bottle up you just hey, threw. If y'all want to sell water bottles, that's fine. Stay out of the streets though. Cause you got, it's every, all over when we're walking. You guys are all, you know, just stay out of the streets. Just stay out of the streets. That's all I'm asking. I'm telling you right now, they're calling us. I don't want to do something about it, right? Do you, I mean, do you need me to? Do you want me to write you a ticket for impeding traffic? Uh, you're probably right. You're probably right. I probably should. No, no you're right. You're right. All right, so uh, let me pause this real quick. So uh, police out there in Cincinnati, Ohio, were called to a, a roadway where teens were selling some water bottles. And But when they were doing so, they were coming out into the street and impeding traffic and all that. And you heard the officer saying, hey, I really don't want to do anything. Hey, just, just stay out of the street, right? And, of course, things went on as teens do nowadays. So let's continue. They're getting a little, little wild, huh? One, you're trying to take property that wasn't yours off your friend. I told you to stop. You didn't. Well, and then I said, come here. And then you ran. You're obstructing our investigation. And what investigate? What was your investigating? You were We were. We told you. All right. So that, that, that's the gist of it. What, what do you think about everything you just saw there? I mean, just like you said earlier, I thought it was going to be a much shorter video based on how it started. Um, like common sense kind of came into play for me. Um, when you said, well, when you showed the, the first part of the video, um, the cop said, hey, I've got a call saying folks are in traffic. 
I don't want to really do anything about this. Can you just please stay out of the street? Um, and they didn't care about them selling the water. And then, you know, it something was said from the teenagers that uh, made the officer change their mind. And it really kind of blew up from there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the teens said something to the effect, hey, go ahead and do something then. So he mm. said, oh, okay. Is that how we going to play this then? Um, and then it just went on from there. Uh, you know, you and I are the same age and we were kind of brought up a little differently when, you know, when at least the, when the police officers tell you to, you know, Hey, get out the street, get out the street. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that was a little different. What, what do you think about, like I was just saying, how the teens were reacting to the police as opposed to how to, how we grew up? I mean, Obviously, there's lots of factors that made that made them feel the way they feel, but that is, I can't really bring that into the fray because that's I didn't hear any of that being said. It was just it just seems like the teens were just not trying to hear anything. Um, they were going to just say anything and everything they could to, you know, uh, antagonize the officers. Yeah, absolutely. And then when this gets out on social media, as I'm sure everybody passing by in their cars. And they just see, like I put there on the on the bottom, police contact teens selling water bottles, and that's what everyone's going is going to see. They just going to see, oh man, these kids are just selling water bottles, and the police come up and they just they just start you know jacking, throwing throwing the kids on the on the ground and this that and the other, and they don't see what happened from the beginning. Yeah, that's they, true. They, and they even was, your your title is not even really provocative. It's pretty. Um, enticing, actually, you know, to see how they might handle it, and and we actually see what happens. In it, unless there's more to this video, right, right. And and from what we saw from the from the from the body cam, you know, the police roll up. Hey, just we're getting calls about you guys out in the street. Just stay out the street. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. Sell your water bottles. Just stay out the street. And you know, kids being the way they are nowadays, um, being in defiance of everything. And uh, that's that's how it ended up, unfortunately. And, and when we saw, let me let me go back here um, to the to the one kid that was actually you know pushing up on the officer and and uh, well, this one here when he, this guy's detained here. Oh, I'm not in the room. And then you know, oh, let me let me back that up oh, right hey, yeah, right here. Look at, this, look at this kid oh, trying to stop the officer from, from detaining the other kid. I mean, so yeah, so that that one right there in the black, he he's he's being a little bit extra. Yeah, you know what though? When I saw the uh, the the guy in the red being detained, I'm like, why are they detaining folks right now? What did he do? Right. Yeah, that that wasn't seen at least from this officer's body cam because you know the one that we're watching was still in the car when he got out, you know, his partner was already dealing with that. So, um, you know, could have been, could have been a little bit of something. It looks like they were going to, like you said, they were going to give him some tickets and then probably the guy in the red probably did a little something like the, the dude in the black did. Mm -hmm. Um, but the dude in the black, he, uh, he went a little bit above and beyond what he should have <laughs> been. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, uh, what do you think these, these kids parents is going to say about that? Well, what would your mom or your dad say about that? Yeah, well, like you said earlier, we were raised a little different. And honestly, if you don't want your day to go awry, you just chill out and you let it go. Um, but if this was the case, I would, you know, it would be a tough day for my parents, you know? I mean, they weren't yeah, yeah. really into, like, you know, whooping and beating and stuff like that, especially at that age. Um, you just, you're reminded, of, you're, you're reminded of where you are, who you are. And what could happen to you pretty much and you don't feel good the rest of the day no doubt no doubt yep and the uh the real more of the story of, of a lot of these videos i'm showing is comply now and complain later if these kids thought that the cops were in the wrong hey just comply and uh go home tell your parents about it and uh let them go to the station and complain but uh hey that's that's just coming from me i, I don't know what do i know <laughs> all right bro hey man i appreciate you coming on to this this short one here it looked like it was pretty cut and dry hey just uh stay out the roadway we don't we don't care about you selling the water bottles just don't cause an accident i love that 
Yep. Yep. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, man. Like I said, hey, I appreciate you. And uh, hey, go, go, Bills. <laughs> uh, <you're, laughs> you can say that since they're at home. But go, Chiefs. Go, Chiefs. <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, man. I appreciate you. Talk to you later, All man. Right, man. Have a good weekend. All right.